Hi, my name is Dan Reed, and I've had a lot of questions about the video The Dictator, where the song came from, um, how the video came about, what's the purpose behind it and the meaning, and today we're going to just answer some questions and hopefully uh, shed a little more light on the process and uh, the meaning behind it all. Thank you for watching. Well, the song started off as uh, I heard a, a good friend of mine named Bradley Fish playing a Chinese harp in uh, Jerusalem. And I was just fascinated by the instrument and how it really transported me back into ancient times. I basically recorded him playing a bunch of different kinds of loops. Took that back to my place, edited it together, and uh, created the, the bed of this track. And I, for about six months, I had a really difficult time writing lyrics for it, lyrics that kind of matched the emotional intensity of the music and one night about three in the morning I was just trying to get some sleep and uh, trying to get tired to go to bed and I, I was going through old black and white films from uh, you know the Marx Brothers and Laurel and Hardy and, and I stumbled across this Charlie Chaplin speech from the movie The Great Dictator and once I heard that speech I thought this is something that uh, our generation needs to hear uh, just as much as they did then in 1940 with um, all the wars and stuff that's going on at this current time that this uh, message of compassion and using truth as a weapon was very important. I chopped up the lyrics, uh, his speech, and made it fit uh, rhythmically. And then eventually I wrote the lyrics to the chorus to kind of counterbalance his optimism in the speech, his hopefulness, to say that someday the dolphins will take back the sea was kind of like an answer to uh, what Charlie Chaplin was saying in the speech. video came about through, uh, first it started off with uh, getting connected back to Derek Shulman, who was uh, the man that signed us to our first record deal to Polygram back in 1987. And his son, who was I think like, I don't know, two years old at the time, is now a video director. And I'd seen his work and was just really blown away by how he did animation and his style. We had a lot of conversations about how could we First, we wanted to travel around the world with the camera and just shoot all kinds of stuff, but that wasn't going to economically work. But um, Noah Shulman spent a lot of time like investigating and researching and finding um, great images out there that, that uh, displayed the message of this world being one giant country with a lot of borders, basically. So that was the beginning of the video. We knew that we were going to do it on green screen. Um, all the images that were going to be behind, I basically saw some of the stuff that was going to be behind there. I had already seen the Chaplin speech many, many times. And so we had discussed it kind of being like a 1984 Big Brother thing, but instead of you know being taught how to line up like sheep, we're going to be listening to Charlie Chaplin teaching us how to be more open-hearted. And so Noah Shulman really directed that, that whole piece for me being able to watch the screen, watch what was going on there, all the images, Charlie Chaplin talking to me, talking to whoever the viewer is, and then turning to the camera and singing into the camera and singing to the people watching. That was something at first I didn't, wasn't really comfortable with, but then I realized that um, it made a lot of sense because you, Char, Ch Charlie Chaplin's given his speech to the audience and then to come and give that alternate point of view, kind of more the negative side of things of like, you know, turning from, falling from love is our, uh, running from love is our fall from grace, that to be able to say that message straight to the audience that was just listening to what Charlie Chaplin was saying was very, very important. Noah saw that right away. Uh, I hope that people get a sense of the, the, common, uh, the common oneness of all of us together on this planet trying to work toward surviving this future of environmental destruction and massive abuse of animals and human rights and I think the video uh, is just a gentle reminder that uh, we all inhabit this planet, we all have to share this planet together. Uh, I 
had one woman write me saying that after she watched the video, she went out with a couple garbage bags and cleaned up the beach in front of her house all day long. And, and I thought that was, that's basically what I hope to accomplish with this video, is just to inspire people to feel interconnected to each other a little bit. If it does it with that one person, like I just said, it's, it's enough.